Introducing the horses, race number eight, tonight's eighth race. Condition the pacing fillies and mares, racing one mile, purse of $4,000, field of six. Post time in 10 minutes. The one, she's a farm girl, owned by Mark Pierre in the middle town, and David Ram of Lebanon, Joe Essig, the trainer, Joe Essig Jr., in the bike. The two, Jet Diamond, owned by Marlon Nixon of Springboro, Ohio, Lanny Merriman trains for Brent Holland. The three horse is illegally parked, owned by Dan Russo of Westerville and Robert Parker of Texas. Mike Ampler trains for Jeff Out. The four waiting for you, owned by the Hull Investment Company of Logan. Dick Brandt trains for Dave Myers. Number five, Lady Ann Matthew, owned by the White Birch Farms of Allentown, New Jersey, and the Penske Stables. Brian Penske trains and drives. And the six horse is just plain fancy. Owned by Ingen Nemziki of Sardinia. Lazik Nemziki trains. Dave Miller is in the sulky. When play show perfect to try fact to wagering. Nine minutes are post. Nine minutes. Eighth race. Phillies and mares. Solon behind the gate. The gate swings into the back stretch. And uh, there they go. And uh, they're off and from the far outside. Just plain fancy follows that gate away. And just plain fancy. Set right to the front end here. She leads quickly by three. Jet Diamond getting away second. She's a farm girl from off the wheel is third. At the wheel and fourth, illegally parked. Fifth on the inside is around that first turn. Waiting for you, Lady Anne Matthew. Brings up the back is sixth. Approaching the first quarter and just plain a fancy. With a lead, but Jet Diamond Holland with an early quarter move comes to the outside and takes that lead. First quarter, 28 and one. Jet Diamond, odds on favorite now with a lead. Just plain fancy, getting the garden spot trip behind the leader, second. She's a farm girl, is third at the rail, illegally parked, three lengths, fourth. Two lengths, five, waiting for you, and Lady Ann Matthew is waiting for cover, trailing sixth. No one moving here, they're in straight alignment as they move towards the half. Holland controls the pace here with Jet Diamond, just plain fancy. Ten to one on the board with a, on the inside is racing a second, moving first up now. Here comes She's a farm girl. They're at the half in 58 and four to the back stretch. And with the lead, it's Jet Diamond, and she's being pressured by the long shot. She's a farm girl, and she's a farm girl. Moving right on by here, takes a lead a length, length and a half. But Jet Diamond coming right back of the inside, and Jet Diamond battling back gamely here will park out. She's a farm girl, and just plain fancy quickly taking advantage here, moving up the rail third. Three quarters and one, 27 around the final turn, and Jet Diamond leads the way. Just plain fancy. Another long shot is right behind her and poised to strike. Less than an eighth of a mile ago. And uh, down the stretch they come. And on the front, Jet Diamond. On the inside, just plain fancy. Out of the inside, illegally parked, looking for racing room. But it's Jet Diamond as she responds to the challenge. Jet Diamond coasting home by two. Just plain fancy second, illegally parked third. Eighth race now official on trackside, the winner, number two, Jet Diamond, four-year-old daughter of Falcon uh, Sealster. Owned by Marlon Nixon of Springboro, Ohio, Lanny Merriman trains, Brent Holland in the Sonke. Jet Diamond recording her third win of the season. That is a career mark for her, 155 and a three-fifths. Second win for this evening for second leading driver, Brent Holland giving him a driving double. Two-six perfect of $40.60, 40 60 